Hi guys, this is John from Video Magazine and oh, I want to give a shout out for Cinema Retro. This is a fantastic magazine and I'm proud to say I have been a subscriber since issue number one and now they're on to their 14th volume, it's the 13th year and this is the last issue, latest uh, as of now, issue 42. And uh, it has a great article, and all the magazines have great articles. It's, of course, you cannot be interested in each and every movie they write about, but it's all about the classics, you know. 60s and 70s movies um, is the main focus. And uh, we can see my binders here. They started in 2005. Um, and I uh, I managed to sort of start subscribing from the get go because I um, I know about these guys. They are like legends in their fields. And this is Lee Pfeiffer, the American, and Dave Worrell, the British, and they've been friends for a long time. And uh, in the early nineties, they made a very good James Bond making of book, and I remember it clearly because it had the approval of Albert R. Broccoli and a picture of them with him, I remember. And um, so these guys are James Bond enthusiasts, but really they are movie buffs and they still, you know, uh, think there is a market for magazines and that clearly it is because, you know, they keep making these fantastic magazines, also these special movie classics editions. And um, they're on to the seventh now. The last one just got this a few weeks ago. It's about the roadshow epics of the 60s. Mutiny on the Bounty, Khartoum, Lawrence of Arabia, the fall of the Roman Empire and the greatest story ever told. So these special magazines is like outside of the regular cinema retro uh, annual magazines. Um, and are more focused on either an actor or some movies in, in this case, where Eagle Stare has its own special, uh, the American Vestance of Clint Eastwood, um, and of course the first James Bond movie, it's fantastic stuff this is. There has been seven, as I said, I couldn't find all of my issues. I know I have them, but there is also one about uh, Sergio Leone's Dollar Trilogy and um, there is one about Carrie's Heroes uh, special which I also have as for the back issues they are now sold out on a few of them so um, you better hurry I, I highly recommend them all and I'm lucky to say I have a few extra of a few of them Maybe I should put them on eBay, not to earn money on them, but you know, just to get um, to, you know, so people can get a chance to get them if they like some. And uh, well, it's um, yeah, I have two of that one. Um, you know, I buy one here and uh, directly, and then I go to London and you know, do I have it or not? I'm not sure. I buy it extra. <laughs> But it, it, they are good gifts, you know, if you want to give them away to someone. So, uh, what more can I say, really? You know, in this um, in this time or an age where we, you know, we have everything online, it's it's really it's great, you know, because they they cram so much into it, and you could argue that the layout design isn't the most modern, and it truly isn't. But, you know, it's done with, you know, with flair and, you know, um, with, uh, with passion. And uh, it's not bad in any way. It it's just doesn't have that, like, slick, hyper-modern uh, layout to it. But still, it has its own distinct style and it's very well done. And um, normally I'm a bit annoyed at magazines with very small pictures but in this case um, I'm accepting it because you know they really want to pack in as much info as possible and um, 
this is an article about the airport movies, you know, and I have to say, really, you know, when, when you read about some of these movies, you, you, ah, you just get, you know, I want to see it right away, <laughs> because, you know, it's interesting, even though, even the, the, the bad ones, is, Superman F40, you know, it's coming out now, this awesome on 4K UHD, and, you know, I can't wait to see it again, even though I just saw it, actually, on the extended cut, nearly three hours, but I just love it, and, you know, great pictures here, I had the big pleasure of uh, meeting Mark Kidder once, and, um, bless her, and, uh, you know, Richard Donner also I met, and, um, uh, interviewed once and uh, it's it's great to see this kind of you know it's it's very thorough a lot of interviews and new stuff and um, this is just the last issue you know it, it will take hours just to to go through all of it so cinema retro guys very good magazine you should subscribe to it hey girl we're here.